What is going on guys? It feels like it's been forever since I filmed a casual vlog just chatting with you guys and driving around in the 600 LT. So I figured it's time to change that. Now one of my friends mentioned his favorite road in the world is a road called Highway 33. I've never actually driven it because it's a couple hours north of where I live, but it's a beautiful day out. We're in the 600, so let's go check it out. 12,200 miles in the 600. Check out this 458 pulling up. I posted a review of the new 2021 Mustang Mach 1. Now normally, I'm honestly not a huge Mustang guy, but I've been having an absolute blast behind the wheel of that car. It's so fun to drive. Make sure to check that video out. All right, we got an hour to go. I love how I've never once actually used the navigation system in the McLaren. And look at this jump, should we hit it? Oh my God, for you truck guys out there, is this Denali stock? This thing is huge. Those rear fenders are wild. Never mind. Definitely not stock, I just saw the suspension. It's crazy, when it's windy out and you're traveling at high speeds, you hear all the wind through the roof scoop above my head, not actually through the windows. Nice satin blue Urus. We got the Kia Cullinan in front of us. I feel like the shape of this and the taillights do kind of look like a Cullinan. Guys, look at this truck's accident prevention system it's got going on. He literally has metal poles sticking out of the sides of his car in case he gets sideswiped and he's got a giant metal pole in the front of his vehicle as well. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. Just about at the fun, windy road section of Highway 33, and the scenery out here is absolutely gorgeous. So far, there is very little traffic. It's the middle of the day. I haven't seen any cars pass, so this is about to be a fun drive. But before we continue, push the limits of the 600 and explore Highway 33, I gotta give a special shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Upstart. Unfortunately, over the past year, tons of Americans have suffered financial hardships. However, Upstart is here to help you regain your footing and get you back on track. Upstart is an extremely fast and easy way to pay off all your debt with a personal loan done completely online. Whether it's credit card debt or your car note, over one million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment. Upstart realizes that you are more than just your credit score, and they are providing more and more access to affordable credit. And unlike other lenders, Upstart considers your income and current employment to find you a smarter rate for your loan. Literally within five minutes online, you can see your rate upfront for loans ranging from $1,000 to $50,000. And the craziest part is you can receive funding just one business day after accepting your loan. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today by going to upstart.com slash VV. That's upstart.com slash VV. Make sure to use that link to let them know that I sent you upstart.com slash VV. All right, let's rip Highway 33, shall we? Oh, no way, this place is literally tunnel heaven. Are you serious? <laughs> All right, that section of road was way too sick not to do a point of view drive of, so gonna put on the helmet cam.
man, this road is an absolute blast. And we just blew past an Audi R8 V10 Spider. I wonder if we can go catch up to that car in a little bit. I'm excited to see what this road has to offer. I've literally only driven like 2% of the road so far. And I mean, look at this place. Absolutely spectacular. All right, this road is legitimately incredible. It just goes on and on forever with twists and turns every second. Man, I wish I lived closer to this road. It's such a perfect place to review cars. This road is so much fun. It's honestly kind of like an alternative feeling to Angeles Crest. It is absolutely epic. I love the fact that there's tons of pullouts so you can pass slower traffic and we've gained tons of elevation. I think we're at 3,000 feet right now and it goes all the way up to the top of this and probably even farther up. The 600 LT feels right at home on these roads handling perfect out here on Highway 33. So unfortunately, as of July 19th, there is a new smog law. In California, if you've got a car that's older than eight years, you have to smog it to check emissions every two years in order to register the car and have it legally on the road. If you buy a car from out of state, you have to smog it. And if you sell a car that's more than four years old, you have to smog it in order to sell it. The law people are freaking out about is this. Any car with an aftermarket ECU tune will automatically fail smog. All right, it was a billion degrees outside, so I've hopped in the car. It's no secret that California isn't the friendliest place for car enthusiasts, which is such a bummer because it's got some of the best roads in the entire world and perfect weather, so it's the best place, honestly, uh, or one of the best places to own a fun exotic car because you can actually drive it or a modified car. But unfortunately, laws like this and the exhaust laws, if you guys remember that from a while back, people were getting state refs because their exhausts were too loud or they were modified you know, it was getting a little bit ridiculous. But here are the facts about the new law and how you can work around it. So it's actually not true that all tunes will cause you to fail emissions. In fact, the California Air Resource Board, or CARB, is an organization that actually can approve certain tunes for road legal use, and if they have that approval, you can pass smog with a CARB approved ECU tune. It is a bummer because the majority of good tunes don't have CARB approval. I imagine this will be something that aftermarket manufacturers will start to focus on more and more, but honestly, the most common workaround that I think everyone's going to do is simply reflash your car back to stock, smog it, and then tune it again. It is a pain in the butt depending upon how your car was tuned. Sometimes you have to pull the ECU from the vehicle to bench tune it, and sometimes flashing it back and forth isn't all that easy. Some tunes, it's really easy to take it off. I can see, however, if someone were to sell you a car that was tuned and they didn't know how to take it off and all of a sudden you've got this car that you can't register, it's gonna be a little bit of a pain. But thankfully there are the carb approved tunes and reflashing it back to stock. But California, please let us have our fun with enthusiast cars. How wild is this? I've driven from this point to here and we have all the rest of this windy road to go. I mean, it's literally limitless. I will say a quick word of caution because you are out here when you go on this road. Please make sure to fill up with gas in Ojai if you're coming from that direction because I've been going for miles and miles and I have a feeling it's going to be a very long time before I can get gas again. Thankfully, I've got a full tank, but <laughs> it would suck to run out of gas out here because there is absolutely no service and really no one out here. We came to a fork in the road, so I'm gonna explore this smaller road, see where it goes. Oh my gosh, every road out here goes forever. Not gonna lie, this is honestly a pretty sick spot for photo opportunities. Wish I actually brought my good camera for pictures. Wow, look at the change in scenery from before. Look at this net to protect you from falling rocks. That would be horrible.
headed back now, but I gotta say, Highway 33, or the section of it, I think it's called Maricopa Highway, up past Ojai, is absolutely incredible. So if you're anywhere near the area, even within a couple of hours, it was worth the drive, because there is limitless fun out there in the canyons, and it's completely empty, so you can have as much fun as your heart desires. Well guys, got a pretty long and boring drive home, so that concludes today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. Let me know what I should vlog and film videos of in the comment section below, things you wanna see, and maybe things I haven't been posting recently on the channel. All right guys, look forward to seeing you next video.